is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Simulating 20 Years of NASCAR Thunder 2003. We're in the home stretch. It is 2014, and obviously, if you watched the last video or if it's at the beginning of this video, I'm not sure. Um, I'm thinking about doing a double feature just because 2013 got cut in half because of uh, my stupidity, really. is really what it boils down to. It's been a couple days. I'm still pissed about it. But if you know, you know, Ron Hornaday is a fucking monster. Uh, finished 15th in the points, not really representative of what he did last year. Three wins, five top fives, ten top tens. Uh, rookie of the year, I mean, he was just, he was fantastic. He was awesome. Ron Hornaday was so good in the nine car as opposed to Brian Vickers, who sucked in the 88, which is surprising. Um... Yeah, I had two top tens, that's it. Uh, 27th in the points. Rough, rough, rough first season in the big leagues. And now, with no more Terry Labonte, Tim Sauter taking over the number five, and then brother Jay Sauter. I had to Google it and double check. Um, we might see all three Sauters in the Cup Series. I know it says his hometown's Lexington. I'm not sure why I did. I uh, Well, I Googled it, and... You know how trustworthy Wikipedia could be, so I think they're brothers. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody can correct me if they're not. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, but yes, two of the three Sauter brothers are in the Cup Series now, and we're going to scroll on up here to this guy. Jeff Gordon, seven-time champion. Won eight races last year, 21 top fives, 30 top tens, 7.2 average finish. Um... Him and Dale Jr. were duking it out down the stretch, and Dale Jr. DNF'd in the last race of the year and ended up slipping back to third in points. But, I mean, they had a hell of a battle. I wish it would have recorded. It was like a one-point gap at one point, and then Jr. took the lead, and then Jeff Gordon just kicked it into overdrive and ended up stomping him, really. Um, but, yeah, Jeff Gordon, seven-time champ. We could see him retire after this season. I'm doing my silly season stuff. Uh, I've seen a couple other people that may retire, so we're about to have some heaters incoming. And if you're excited for it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And we are going to jump right into the 2014 Daytona 500. Jeff Gordon has won the last three, two. He's won the last two for sure. I really need a thing so I can just pull my spreadsheet right up. I need a tab. He has won the last three uh, Daytona 500s. The Daytona curse is dead. He's won two out of the three championships. So, with that being said, we are going to hop right in to the Daytona 500 here in 2014. Two and a half second margin of victory. It's not going to be Michael Waltrip, Tony Stewart, or Sterling Marlin winning at Daytona. Who's it going to be? Holy shit. <laughs> what a top five, bro. Yo, Kurt Busch. Uh, three years early? I think it's I think it's three years. I think he won it. It's two or three. I can't uh I did this. I did a a name all the Daytona 500 winners in descending order, and I can't remember if it was 2016 or 2017. But Kurt Busch, the outlaw. Um asshole at some points, but now loved is a Daytona 500 champ. What the hell? Ryan Newman finishes second, which is crazy in its own right. Ashton Lewis Jr. is third. Jeff Gordon in fourth. Kevin Harvick in fifth. Ron Hornaday Jr. starts, uh, or not Jr. I shouldn't say Jr. because I'm don't. i not 100% sure if it's Ron Hornaday Jr. Nobody cares. Ron Hornaday finishes in sixth, getting his season started off on the right foot. Ricky Rudd in seventh. Dale Jr. in eighth. Bobby Labonte and then Rusty Wallace rounds it out in the top ten. Let's see. There's Vickers in 15th. Good enough, I guess. There's Tim Sauter in the 23rd, or uh, Jay Sauter, excuse me, in the 20 in 23rd in the 41. And where is Tim Sauter? Oh, God. Oh, God. 36th. Tim Sauter in the five in his debut. 1.4 second margin of victory here at The Rock. Dale Jr. early DNF. Not good. Johnny Benson. No. Johnny Benson DNFs. Jay Sauter also DNFs. We're not going to talk about that guy. And Rusty Wallace. 
Oh, Rusty Wallace starting the season off hot with a win in race number two. Kevin Harvick comes home in second. Mark Martin in third. Jeff Gordon, Ron Hornaday, a top five. Michael Walter. Hey, Brian Vickers halfway to his top ten total from last year in seventh. Tony Stewart, Ricky Rudd, and Tim Sauter. Okay, Tim Sauter with a top five. Interesting. Interesting. This is oh, this is gonna be a banger of a season. I could already tell, bro. Yikes. Um, lots of shit happening here. Sterling Marlin DNFs. Hate to see it. Dale Jr. DNFs. Double hate to see it. And Brian Newman. Ah, started. He got a second at the Daytona 500. Probably the best you'll finish all year. Um, oh no. <laughs> Tim Sauter. After his first career top 10, Tim Sauter DNFs. And Jeff Gordon wins at Atlanta, followed by Mark Martin, Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Rusty Wallace, and Matt Kenseth. And Scott Wimmer just outside with an 11th. Vickers back in his rightful place of 15th. Thankfully, only one DNF this time at Darlington. Steve Park got outran by a fantasy driver. Everybody... I would say everybody laugh at him, but I don't want anybody to laugh at Steve Park. I got a soft spot for the guy. Two-second margin of victory, Matt Kenseth. Um, I forgot to type it out in my sheets. I had to guess. I'm pretty sure he won Pretty sure he won the uh, Southern 500 last year, and I was going to say I'll check it when I edit it, and I forgot. I can't do that because there's no, uh, no second half of the season. But also... Yes, Ron Hornaday was the thumbnail last week. Or last week. Last episode. Fight me. I don't give a shit. Jeff Gordon finishes second. Jeff Burton in third. Sterling Marlin, good to see him rebound with a fourth. Dale Jr. rebounds with a fifth after a tough start to the season. Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, Ron Hornaday, there's our man. Ricky Rudd and Jimmy Johnson with Kevin Harvick finishing in 11th here at Darlington. Uh, Jeff, oh God, Jeff Gordon dominated holy shit he led 229 the 293 laps wow first trip to bristol dirt i'm just kidding it's not bristol dirt i went oh wow i just saw the margin of victory uh i wish it was jimmy johnson dnf shocker kyle petty also dnf he's been dnfing a lot i hate to see it um 0.337 second margin of victory here in the bristol spring race Mark Martin outduels Jeff Burton to win. Jeff Burton comes home in second. Ricky Rudd comes home in third. Jeff Burton, holy shit, led a lot of laps. Led 433 laps. My God. Uh, Tony Stewart finishes in fourth. Kurt Busch in fifth. Ashton Lewis Jr., Matt Kenseth, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Johnny Benson is your top and at Bristol, I did not, I did see Jeff Gordon, I lied. Uh, Harvick down in 13th. He's had a good start to the season. I'm interested to see where he's at in the standings now. Probably like 4th or 5th if I had to guess. Speaking of the standings, obviously we're going to take a look at him. And hey, I'm good. Jeff Gordon is your points leader with one win already on the year. Two more and he'll hit 120 career wins. Uh, five top fives and four top uh, five top tens and four top fives good start to the season average finish of 3.8 my god if he did that the whole season he might be he might i don't know i don't know are we saying dale jared's the goat right now i think you have to with eight championships but when gordon gets there does gordon surpass him because he has more wins or what i'm not sure uh mark martin finishes in second or not finishes in second. Jesus, I'm in half post-race mode already. Uh, in second. Good to see. I haven't seen him this high in the points in a hot minute. Um, he was fifth in 2012. So he's been all right. Hopefully he can keep this going. He needs a good points finish, I think. Higher than fifth. Uh, I want to see Mark Martin do well. Jeff Burton in third. Nailed it right on the head. Kevin Harvick in fourth. Kurt Busch, your Daytona 500 winner in fifth. That was his first win. I did not even think about that until just now. That was his first win in, like, forever. Five years? Six years? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Went four whole years and then won the first race of the season. That's awesome. Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, and Hornaday in 11th. Holy Ashton Lewis Jr. in 12th. Holy Brian Vickers in 13th. Damn. Dale Jr. all the way down in 14th. 
Holy cow. Ryan Newman in 15th. This is crazy stuff to start the season. No cautions, no DNFs at Martinsville. Sure. Five and a half second margin of victory. Yeah, seems seems about right. Uh, oh, oh, whoa. Okay, Matt Kenseth wins. Matt Kenseth wins. Brian Vickers is turning into Dale Jarrett. He finishes second. Oh, God. Rusty Wallace finishes third. Mark Martin, Dale Jr., Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Ryan Newman, Ricky Rudd, and Johnny Benson, your top 10. Bobby Hamilton with a 12. I was so surprised to see uh, Brian Vickers in second. That, whoa, wow. Uh, I also had half a mind to try and get Vickers in the 24. I, th I think some people might have wanted to see that. I don't know. I have different plans for who I want to see in the 24, and I'm going to make it happen. I'm not going to lie. I'm manipulating this, but it's all for content. Who cares? Who cares? Oh, big break. Literally, Jeff Gordon, DNF. At Talladega, Ron Hornaday, also DNFs. Uh, Ricky Craven finishes 38th. I would have liked to see him finish higher. 1.2 second margin of victory. It's been a while since I think we've seen one that close at a super speedway. <gasps> Fucking finally. Holy shit. It is only taken. This is episode 14. Or is this episode 13? I don't even fucking know my own series. I have to check. Holy shit, dude. Finally. It took you long enough, bro. This is episode 13. Jeremy Mayfield. Finally a race winner. It took you long enough, bro. Jesus Christ. Finally. Started 42nd, too. My God. <laughs> My God. Tony Stewart finishes in second. Michael Waltrip in third, Kevin Harvick in fourth, Dale Jr., Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Kurt Busch, Jeff Green, and Sterling Marlin. Uh, did I see Mark Martin? I did not see Mark Martin. Huh. Oh, no. He's in 20th. Started on the pole, finishes 20th. Brian Vickers was there somewhere. Obviously, we saw Hornaday DNF. Um, let's go find the solder boys. Oh, God. <laughs> Jay finishes 28th. Tim finishes 30th. Honestly, that's where those cars have been running anyways. It's not any different. Um, Lots of DNFs, I think. Yeah. Yeah, lots of DNFs. Johnny Benson DNF. Kurt Busch DNF. Jeff Green. Ashton Lewis Jr. Robbie Gordon. Kyle Petty. And then obviously we were down, going to be down here anyways. We're always down here. We don't race. Seven seconds, the margin of victory. You know who I don't see? Jimmy Johnson. Not saying I'm going to call it or anything, but that <laughs> wouldn't that be impressive? It's not going to happen. It didn't. Matt Kenseth wins at Texas. His first win of the year, I think. Jeff Gordon finishes in second. Dale Jr. finishes in third. Tony Stewart in fourth. Rusty Wallace, Kevin Harvick, Brian Vickers, another top ten. Mark Martin, Ricky Rudd, and Sterling Marlin with Elliot Sadler finishing 11th. Jimmy Johnson actually finished the race. So proud of you, JJ. So proud. 1.15 second margin of victory. Oh, it's tight at Vegas. It's tight. Johnny Andretti got outrun by a fantasy driver. We're not going to talk about it, though. What the hell? What the hell? Bro. What? Oh, my God. He's been so close. Finally, dude. Yes. Two first-time winners. Well, the simulation first-time winners. Jamie Mayfield had won before. Ashton Lewis Jr. rolls the dice and comes up big at Las Vegas. He wins his first career race. Dominated, too. Led 161 laps. Jeff Gordon finishes in second. Dale Jr., Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, your top five. Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Burton, Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin, I don't see Ron Hornaday any anyway. holy shit. Nielsen, a fantasy driver, finishes 14th. Oh man. Odd times, daddy. Odd times. Hornaday down in 37th. What the fuck happened? Wow, that's rough. 
But holy shit, Ashton Lewis Jr. finally wins a race. I said it for like three seasons. He was so close. He was going to get it. And of course, I stopped talking about it and he does it. I'm so disappointed. Jimmy Johnson, what the fuck are we doing? One second margin of victory. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Comment below who you think it's going to be. Sterling Marlin, hell yeah. Sterling Marlin, damn, started on the pole too. I only led six laps. Started on the pole, only led six laps. Sure, we'll go with it. Tony Stewart, a top five. Finishes second. Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick rounds out the top five. Kenseth, Mark Martin, Jeff Burton, Ryan Newman, and Ron Hornaday returns to the top ten. Did not lead any laps. Surprised he didn't lead a lap or two. How about that? Tony Stewart, low-key having a good year. He's been sneaky good. Kevin Harvick also been sneaky good, still. And he hasn't DNF. And talking about being sneaky good, it's a great time to check the standings. And how the fuck are you still leading the standings? You DNF'd. You're cheating. You're literally cheating. I'm convinced. Jeff Gordon leads the points. Mark Martin, 60 points back. How? I don't know. Kevin Harvick, 69 points back. Nice. Matt Kenseth, 89 points back. Tony Stewart in fifth, 109 points back. And then Jeff Burton, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Labonte, Ricky Rudd, Dale Earnhardt Jr. making the climb. Kurt Busch in 11th still. Oh, God. Um, Brian Vickers and Ashley Lewis Jr. are ahead of Ron Hornaday in the points. Is the Ron Hornaday hype train dying? Never. Well, that'll help the point situation between those three I, are they cult heroes? Are they cult heroes now? Well, I don't want to say Brian Vickers is a hero of anything, but... Um, I, I, you know, low-key, pushing the narrative. Ashton Lewis Jr., cult hero. Ron Hornaday, cult hero. No big deal. Uh, 3.4 second margin of victory. Kenseth also DNF. So did Bobby Labonte. Jeff Gordon wins at Richmond in the Pontiac Excitement 400. Tony Stewart, the highest finishing Pontiac, actually. Dale Jr. finishes second. Uh, Tony Stewart in third. Ryan Newman in fourth. Sterling Marlin in fifth. Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Ricky Craven, top ten Ricky Craven. And Rusty Wallace and Jimmy Johnson rounds out your top ten. Hornaday in twelfth. Um, um, still scrolling. Still scrolling. Oh, my God. Oh my god, where are you? Oh, that's right, you're DNF'd. I literally, yeah, I get it. Coke, 600 time. Who is going to cement their legacy, really? I mean, or who's going to build their, start their legacy? You know, there's there's a lot of different options here. Ricky Rudd won the Coke 600 last year, giving Robert Yates four wins in the Coke 600 in the simulation. I think as a team, that's maybe the most. Uh, yeah, Roush. Roush has three. Mark Martin, Jeff Burton twice. And that's it. Really? Oh, I lied. Joe Gibbs has two with Tony Stewart and Bobby Labonte. So, it's really anybody's game. I'm excited. Nobody's really dominated the Coke 600 in this sim except for DJ who had three of the four Robert Yates wins. But, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited to see who is going to win the Coke 600. Wow. Not going to be Jeff Gordon. He DNFs. 0.035 the second. Uh, not the second, but margin of victory. Second margin of victory. 0.035. Three hundredths of a second. Tony Stewart outduels Bobby Labonte. Wow. 271 laps. He finished second last year, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he did. Or... It was either last year, yeah, it must have been last year. I made a joke about the him running the Indy 500. Well, he sweeps the weekend, winning the Indy 500 and winning the Coke 600 after being so close for so long. Bobby Labonte, we already talked about it. He finishes second. Dale Jr. finishes third. Jeremy Mayfield, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Jeff Green, Sterling Marlin, Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace, Ryan Newman. Uh, Newman, 11th. Rusty Wallace in 10th. Hornaday down in 13th. Kurt Busch actually started on the pole. Tony Stewart's second Coke 600. That is nuts. And that is an instant classic, by the way. Uh, 0.035 second march to victory. That's crazy. Ashton Lewis Jr., DNF. This is going to be a long episode. It's 23 minutes. We're not halfway yet. This is awesome. 
uh, Bobby Hamilton also DNFs two and a half second margin of victory here at Dover and Jeff Gordon says I'm back bitches leads 218 laps that's the 10 bonus points obviously because it's a 400 lap race Rusty Wallace Jeff Burton Sterling Marlon Ricky Rudd your top five Kurt Busch Brian Vickers Ron Hornaday Dale Jr. <laughs> Ward Burton and Tony Stewart finishes in 11. The points are going to be a mess after the Gordon DNF, but I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Fuck Pocono. All my homies hate Pocono. Tony Stewart and Matt Kenseth definitely hate Pocono. Jamie McMurray, our king, early in the simulation. DNF, not cool. 2.7 second margin of victory. Sterling Marlin again. Two times this season, a race winner. Harvick finishes in second. I don't think he's won a race yet. Harvick's been right there, though. Jeff Burton in third. Bobby Labonte, Tim Sauter, Jeff Gordon in sixth. Kyle Petty, Mark Martin, Dale Jr., and Ricky Rudd. Kyle Petty gets that Pocono top ten. I feel like he gets a lot of them. Jeremy Mayfield in 11th. He's been much better since his win. More consistent. Oh, my God. Unofficial crown jewel race, by the way. Michigan night race. I love it. It's awesome. 0.058 second margin of victory. Who it gonna be? Jeff Gordon outduels Dale Jr. and Johnny Benson. We'll throw Johnny Benson in there. Johnny Benson actually led quite a few laps. Jr. gets the bonus point for most laps led. Bonus points. But Gordon gets the W. Sterling Marlin finishes in set, uh, fourth. Kurt Busch in fifth, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Tony Stewart, Ron Hornaday, just outside the top 10 in 11th. Rusty Wallace finishes in 12th. Well, how about that? Gordon, he's on the war path. I think that's 120 wins. It's 120 or 121. I always seem to miss one. And of course, after night, Michigan is Night Sonoma or Infineon, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it whatever I feel like calling it. 11.4 second margin of victory. That's what we're going to call it, though. Oh, my God. Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Ron Hornaday. A lot of nines right there. I hate seeing that. Ron Hornaday won this race last year. Not this year. Hornaday DNFing. Kind of disappointing. He's had a disappointing season. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the warpath, bro. Holy shit. Jeff Gordon leads 92 laps. Ryan Newman finishes in second. Vickers up here in third. Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, John Andretti, Bobby Labonte, Johnny Benson, Rusty Wallace, Ricky Rudd. Wow. Ryan Vickers also starting to come into his own a little bit. I would not be shocked to see a race win out of the 88 for the first time in a season and a half. Finishing up the nighttime swing and starting the Daytona swing. 1.7 second margin of victory. Jeremy Mayfield, Jamie McMurray, the first couple DNFs I see. And Brian Vickers, of course. I say something nice and you go and fuck it up. I don't know what I'm about to see when I flip this over. I don't, I, it, this has gotten so interesting in the last three, well, two seasons. I don't know. Three seasons, we'll say. Matt Kenseth wins at Daytona in the Pepsi 400. Ricky Rudd finishes in second. Harvick finishes third. Ashton Lewis Jr. in fourth. Ron Hornaday in fifth. Jeff Gordon in sixth. Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, Dale Jr. in 11th. Halfway through the season now, after the Daytona road course, 5.4 second margin of victory. Only a fantasy driver DNFs and who it gonna be? Jeff Burton wins at the Daytona. Holy shit, dude. Leads 140 of 143 laps. Jeff Gordon finishes second. Shane Hall, Sterling Marlin, Ricky Rudd, Kurt Busch, Ashton Lewis Jr., Mark Martin, Jeremy Mayfield, Tony Stewart, Kenseth in 11th, Benson in 12th. Wow. Okay. Jeff Burton <laughs> done fucked everybody up. Oh boy, a lot of DNFs here at the beach. Uh, Mark Martin's one of them. 8.2 second margin of victory. Jeff Burton. Oh god, Jeff Burton, Matt Kenseth, the other ones. Yikes. Uh, I think we know what that means. Uh, Jeff Gordon probably back in the points lead even after a DNF. And whoa, Rusty Wallace. Okay, Rusty wins at Daytona Beach. Dale Jr. in second. Bobby Labonte, Kurt Busch, Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon, Ward Burton, Ashton Lewis Jr., Sterling Marlin, Robbie Gordon, Jeff Green, your top 11. Robbie Gordon gets the top 10. We hate him. 
Six cautions is a lot. Dale Jr. led the most laps. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna see another Dale Jr. Jeff Gordon battle? I mean, Gordon couple DNFs. He's kind of led Jr. back into it. I don't know. 2.9 second second margin of victory. 2.9 second margin of victory. Ricky, oh no, Kevin Harvick DNF'd. No, dude. No, 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 no. Uh, Ricky Rudd also DNF. Rudd was really hammering the top 10 and top 5. Jeff Burton, your winner at Chicagoland. Dale Jr. in second. Bobby Labonte, Rusty Wallace, Kurt Busch, the top 5. Ashton Lewis Jr., Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Ron Hornaday, and Jimmy Johnson rounds at the top 10 with Mark Martin finishing in 11th. Now it's time to check the standings. I don't know what to see or expect. Ah, he, I don't know. Drum roll it up, boys, if you're watching and you want to. Um, I don't know what to expect. What the fuck? What the fuck? Jeff Gordon, your points leader by a lot. 284 points over Dale Jr. Rusty Wallace up to third. He has two wins this year. He's been good. He's been really good. Really has not done much point standing wise. He's all the way up to third now though. That's crazy. Jeff Burton in fourth. Mark Martin fifth. Tony Stewart in sixth. Harvick all the way down to seventh. Oh, hate to see it. Uh, Ron Hornaday back in front of Vickers and Ashton Lewis Jr. in points up to 14th. Ryan Newman in 13th. J where's Jimmy? Oh, God. He's... Oh, God. No, I'm done. I'm done looking. I'm done looking. Jeff Gordon has five wins. That leads... Leads the tour. Kenseth with four. Um, Jesus. Criminy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, not Harvick again DNFing. Mark Martin, Rusty <laughs> Oh my god. Jeff Burton wins the Brickyard. Jeff Burton wins the Brickyard. That's the first time he's won the Brickyard in the simulation. Um, I also just figured out a much nicer way of doing this next time so I can keep track of what happened in real life as opposed to the Sim 2 for the 2000 Sim, which will be starting... As soon as this one ends, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, Dale Jr. finishes in second after starting on the pole. Bobby Labonte in third. Kurt Busch, Tony Stewart, Ricky Rudd, Jeremy Mayfield, Jeff Gordon, Johnny Benson, Tim Sauter. Tim Sauter, good to see in the top ten. Um, Ron Hornaday in 15th, Newman in 14th. What the hell? <laughs> God. It's a blowout, dude. It's a, I went from saying this is going to be one of the best seasons, which it's been good. Two surprise winners. That's nothing to sneeze at. Oh, but Jeff Gordon is just... He got the switch out, and he's beating everybody's ass with it. <laughs> oh, Jeff Burton, Tim Sauter, DNF. Five and a half second margin of victory. Shane Hall's down here. Jerry Nadeau. Scott... Oh, God damn. Scott Wimmer. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to say that. Um... DNF. Or they didn't even DNF. They just got outrun by fantasy drivers. <laughs> Baby! Jamie McMurray, bro! Yes! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! I'm so excited. I do not know what noises I just made. J-Mac! For the first time in a long time. He started second. Holy shit. Led 25 laps. Led the most important one. Kurt Busch led the most laps. Uh, Kevin Harvick finishes second. Mayfield in third. Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth, Tony Stewart, Jeff Green, Kyle Petty, Ricky Rudd, and Rusty Wallace, Jimmy Johnson. No Jeff Gordon anywhere. How far do we have to scroll? Not that far. Only 18. Not that bad. Jamie McMurray. Little Jamie, baby. Let's go. I'm pumped. Johnny Benson DNFs at his home track. I was hoping... We are going to get a fourth, like, I air quote, surprise winner. Johnny Benson's won a couple times now. But when I saw the margin of victory is .321, I was really hoping. It's really hoping, but his name is literally the first on the list. Yeah! <laughs> yes, oh my God, bro. Holy shit, what a season. He's, 
Oh, he's back. Ron Hornaday, winner at Michigan, just outduels Dale Jr. Tony Stewart finishes third. Ricky Craven gets a top 10 or a top five. What the hell is a top 10? He got a top five. Mark Martin in fifth. Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Brian Vickers, and Jeff Green. What a, what a top 10. What a top 10. Oh, man. Time for the Bristol Night Race. I probably didn't even cut that. I don't care. This has been an incredible season. Incredible. Uh, Jeff Gordon won the Bristol Night Race last year. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> the, the irony of these two DNFing next to each other is so funny. Because they have one of the best finishes in NASCAR history, so it's just kind of funny. But three-second margin of victory. Bobby Labonte also DNFs. Tony Stewart. Whoa. Tony Stewart wins the Bristol Night Race. No helmet throw this time. I don't remember what year that was, but it, I, don't, I don't think it was 2014. Uh, Kenseth finishes in second. Kevin Harvick in third. Sterling Marlin, Johnny Benson, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, Ron Hornaday, and Jeff Green is your top 10. But Tony Stewart, two-time Bristol Night Race winner in the sim. Pretty, pretty good shit. Good shit. Southern 500, my favorite track in the world. Darlington. Uh, I don't know. It's tough. It's toss-up between Darlington, Bristol, and Michigan. <coughs> I would love to go to a race at Darlington. Uh, Tim Sauter and Johnny Benson, both DNF. That's it. Jerry Nady, who got outrun by Fantasy Drivers. Not surprised. 5.3 second margin of victory. Who it gonna be? Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Jeff Gordon. That is his second, third Southern 500 win in the simulation. I don't know how many. He probably has a couple in real life. I would I would have to assume. You'd be dumb not to assume it. Um, Matt Kenseth finishes in second. Dale Jr. in third. Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, Jeremy Mayfield. Kurt Busch, Sterling Marlin, Mark Barton, Bobby Labonte, and Rusty Wallace. Bobby finishes 10th, Rusty in 11th. All right, let's see how big that gap is. Oh my God, <laughs> 224 points. Yeah, um, Tony Stewart though. Let's let's give him his, his uh, props right now. No championships for Tony Stewart. Obviously in real life, he won the 2002 championship, which did not happen in this. Uh, yeah, 9.4 second, or 9.4 second, 9.4 average finish. Tony Stewart having a hell of a year. Um, yeah, he's having a really, really good year since he hasn't finished in the top five in points since 2011. So on a good track here. Anybody else? Kevin Harvick's still in seventh. Rusty Wallace has fallen all the way to eighth. Hate to see it. Um, Ron Hornaday is in front of Ryan Newman. Jimmy Johnson's climbed up to 18th. Ah, yeah, you know, the things are happening. Also, Jeff Gordon has 123 wins and a 7.9 average finish. Uh, I thought he had more than six wins, honestly. It felt like he's won a lot more than that. Are we gonna see the first double digit wins total season? Probably not. The game had to think really hard to make Jeremy D Jeremy Mayfield DNF. <laughs> 1.2 second margin of victory. Rusty Wallace wins. Started on the pole at 118 laps. 10 bonus points for old Rusty Wallace. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes second. Tony Stewart finishes third. Dale Earnhardt Jr. also the highest finishing Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Jeff Gordon, fourth. Sterling Marlin, Matt Kenseth, Bobby Labonte, Ricky Rudd, Jeff Burton, and Ward Burton. Michael Waltrip in 11th, Hornaday in 14th, Newman in 13th, Harvick in 15th, Vickers in 16th, Mark Martin all the way, god dang dude, I'm I'm done looking at him, I'm done looking at him, I don't know why I'm talking right now, nobody, nobody wants to talk about New Hampshire, well we're going to talk about New Hampshire, Brian Vickers, DNF, Ricky Rudd, DNF, um, that's, that's really it, eight and a half second margin of victory, Jeff Gordon whipped everybody's ass, no it's Dale Jr., <laughs> tried 264 laps led uh just beat everybody down mark martin finishes second bobby labani matt kenseth tony stewart your top five sterling marlin jeff gordon kurt bush jeff burton 
Chad Chaffin in 10th. Shocker. I'm surprised. I haven't seen Chad Chaffin in a while. Good for Chad Chaffin. Good for him. Eight tenths of a second. The margin of victory here at Dover. J Mac. DNFs. Hate to see it. Started third though. He's had speed. Just not finishing races or not finishing in a good position. Jeff Gordon wins. He outduels Tony Stewart at the end. Dale Jr., however, leads the most laps. Stewart second. Dale Jr., third. Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Labonte, Brian Vickers, Ricky Rudd, and Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson in 11th. Rudd in 10th. <clears throat> no, not Sterling Marlin DNFing. Uh, what tenth of a second? Margin of victory. This has been the most exciting, boring season ever. Uh, boring because the points is just not close, but it's been so exciting race to race. Jeff Burton outduels Bobby Labonte. Whoa. What? Uh, who led the most laps? Uh, okay. No. Just no. Uh, Jeff Burton wins. Bobby Labonte second. Jeff Gordon in third. Dale Jr., Kevin Harvick. John Andretti, who led the most laps, by the way. Tony Stewart. J-Mac in the top 10. Steve Park in the top 10. Matt Kenseth. Where's our guy, Ron Hornaday? No, oh, I'm not scrolling that far. Talladega, 30, 30th race of 36. This episode has just been unhinged. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm also sorry that Sterling Marlin DNF. I hate to see that. Four laps le or four laps ran. He's not been doing very well lately. It kind of, it doesn't even kind of, it sucks to see. Because he was like championship contender and Dale Jarrett just broke him. Um, literally broke him. Ryan Newman, 69 laps. Nice. And, Ke oh wow. Kenseth wins. I'm pissed. Johnny Benson finishes second. Jimmy Johnson finishes third. Bobby Labonte, Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, Tony Stewart, Jeff Burton, Kurt Busch, and Ricky Rudd. Dale Jr. in 11th. <coughs> Matt Kenseth robbed us of having, like, the ultimate surprise winner season. Robbed us of having two people do it. Checking the standings. <coughs> we already know who it's going to be. Yeah, it's Jeff Gordon. 220 points, the gap. It has shrunk a little bit, hasn't it? Not enough, but it has shrunk. Gordon up to 124 wins. Tony Stewart in third. Good season. Hornaday in 13th still. Johnny Benson. This, Ashton Lewis Jr., Johnny Benson, Brian Vickers, Jimmy Johnson, Jeremy Mayfield, Ryan Newman, Ron Hornaday. This has been, these guys have been incredible this season. They've been so much fun to watch. Um, <clears throat> they've done great things. Ricky Craven. Has his first top five in three years. Good for Ricky Craven. Good for him. I'm very excited for Ricky Craven. Holy shit, 2012 was a disaster. I did not <laughs> I did not even see that. Two and a half second margin of victory. Bobby Labonte, DNF. We also DNF. So did Rusty Wallace. I, again, I don't race. You guys know this. These, these would not come out nearly as fast if I didn't race. Yes, Sterling Marlin wins at Lowe's. Leads 117 laps. That's not the most laps, though. Kurt Busch finishes second. Matt Kenseth in third. Tony Stewart in fourth. Jeff Gordon in fifth. Ricky Rudd, Dale Jr., Jeff Green, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Johnson, Ashton Lewis Jr. in 11th. What a... I'm good for Sterling Marlin. Good job bouncing back. I had to think really, really hard. The Sim did. <laughs> 1.3 second margin of victory in his last trip, and I'm calling it now. In his last trip to Martinsville Speedway, what does Jeff Gordon do? I'm not sure. 1.369 second margin of victory. Very nice. Hell yeah, he does. Jeff Gordon wins. Oh my god, he beat the shit out of everybody. Jeff Gordon wins at Martinsville in his last trip. Jeff Burton finishes second. Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, Tony Stewart, your top five. Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Ron Hornaday, Jimmy Johnson, Sterling Marlin, Bobby Labonte in 11th. Good to see Hornaday back up in the top 10. Everybody makes all the laps at the Rock. 0.757 second margin of victory. Who it gonna be? Yo! Yo, yo, yo! Let's 
go, dude. Yes, Jimmy Johnson wins out dueling Tony Stewart. This has been the best season by far for winners. By far. This has been incredible. Tony Stewart finishes second. Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Kevin Harvick, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Mark Martin, Kurt Busch, your top 10. I don't know who to make the thumbnail. I'm so happy Jimmy got his win. Now we just need Johnny Benson to win one of the last two races. It'll be perfect. 8.8 <clears throat> second margin of victory. Scott Wimmer DNFs. Hate to see it. So does Harrison Burton. First time he's DNFed in a while, actually. Uh, junior DNFs. It's We already knew it was over. That's the nail in the coffin. Sterling Marlin wins again. Jimmy Johnson has finished second again. He's been in the top three quite a bit lately since Talladega. Uh, well, Talladega won last time, now second here at Phoenix. Matt Kenseth in third. Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, Mark Martin, Ricky Rudd, Jeff Burton, Steve Park, your top 10, with Ward and Rusty finishing 11th and 12th. How many wins is that for Sterling Marlin? It's a handful. It's a handful now. It's like three or four. Oh, God. Dale Jr. <laughs> just shit in the bed. Ron Hornaday also DNFs. Hate to see it. 5.6 second margin of victory. Jeff Gordon wins again in his second to last race of the season. Jeff Gordon wins. Tony Stewart finishes second. Kurt Busch, Ricky Rudd, Sterling Marlin, Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, Johnny Benson, Bobby Labonte, Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace. How about it, Jeff Gordon? I mean, just beat the brakes off everybody again. Also, this is how ugly it's gotten. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sterling Marlin does have four wins. He won four races last year also. I didn't realize that. I didn't clock that. 126, nine wins this season. Can he make it 10 and make it possibly one of the most dominant seasons ever? I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. 3.0 second margin of victory. Lots of DNFs. Oh no, no, he was so close to being the first one to win 10 races in a season this sim and he DNFs. He ran 55 laps and said, fuck it, I'm out. He said, fuck it, I'm the champ. Matt Kenseth wins. Holy shit. Jimmy Johnson has crazy momentum going into next year. Uh, Rusty Wallace finishes third. Dale Jr. finishes fourth. Sterling Marlin. Ron Hornaday with a top ten. Kurt Busch. Elliot Sadler. Brian Vickers top ten. Ryan Newman top ten. Kevin Harvick just outside the top ten. What a season. What a season. The final points not going to be as crazy as I thought they were going to be. But Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, I'm just going to wait here to flip it, but we know what it is. Like, we knew how bad the gap was. Obviously, he won the championship. Jeff Gordon is an eight-time champion. He's won back-to-back -back titles, won nine races this year, one more top five, one more top ten, and then a worse average finish somehow. Even though he had one more win also. I don't I don't understand. Um crazy. Crazy shit, man. 126 career wins, 407 top fives, 565 top tens. All time is he the GOAT? But I don't know. Eight championships, one more than Richard Petty, but 74 less wins. You guys can decide in the comments. Is he the goat of the simulation? Uh-uh. No. Dale Jarrett is. Uh, Gordon has four total titles. DJ won four in a row. Um, so, yeah. I mean, Dale Jarrett is... I mean, well, we'll I'm going to do an awards at the end of the sim. And we'll watch it live. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll talk about it in the beginning of the next episode. But... I'm going to do a live premiere for the last episode of this and watch it with you guys that can watch it. Um, but yeah, Jeff Gordon, eight-time champ. He's gone. See you later, buddy. Thank you for what you did. I wish it hadn't taken so long because we so we could have more seasons of somebody in the 24, but I'll take it. it pretty, pretty fucking good stuff. Tony Stewart also finishes second in the points. Had a good year. Two wins. 
A 8.7 average finish. 19 top fives, 29 top tens. That, that's good stuff. Good stuff from Smoke. Um, really good stuff from Smoke. Kenseth's in third. Dale Jr. in fourth. Only won one race. He's had a rough go since his championship season. Uh, had a really rough, rough go <laughs> since his championship season. Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, Mark Martin. Big gap between Burton and Harvick. Kurt Busch in eighth. Daytona 500 winner. First win in years. Harvick didn't win a race for the first time in years. Um, went nine straight seasons with a win. Only did not win this year. Crazy. Um, Sterling Marlin had four wins. Just not a very good points year. Average finish of 12.7. All the way down in 11th. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, winner. Ron Hornaday, winner. Ryan Newman, not a winner. <laughs> Jeremy Mayfield, winner. I mean, what a year uh, for the winners. Jay Sauter actually wins the poll award. We're going to check and see who won Rookie of the Year. Uh, Jeff Gordon, obviously nine wins. Kenseth quietly just had six. Sterling Marlin, Jeff Burton with four. Rusty with three. Tony Stewart with two. And then J-Mac, Jeremy Mayfield. Mark Martin, Ashton Lewis Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Ron Hornaday, Dale Jr., Kurt Busch. That's it. I don't know how many that was. Fourteen different winners. Um, crazy. I mean, absolutely insane. Gordon, the only person with 20 top fives. The only person with 30 top tens. Average finish. A whole position better than Tony Stewart. Um, led 2,000 laps. <laughs> Holy shit balls! That's insane. That is insane. Um, pole award, obviously, Jay Sauter. Jackpot 5, we have Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and Matt Kenseth at the end of the year. Chevy and Ford tied for the manufacturer title. Whoa. Uh, Chevy, I guess, wins it. I don't know why. Probably more wins, if I had to guess. Lap champion, yada, yada, yada. And Jay, or Tim, beats Jay Sauter by 31 points for Rookie of the Year. That's good stuff. Good stuff, Sauter boys. Okay, silly season's over. I'm done. <laughs> Uh, Bobby Hamilton has retired. Also, obviously, Jeff Gordon has retired, winning nine races, the championship he's done. He said, see ya. Ricky Rudd has retired. No wins in his final season, unfortunately. I was hoping he would. Uh, he came close, finished second uh, a couple times, I think. But this is awesome. I have been trying for, I'd say, 20 minutes to get a good lineup. I had a good lineup and then accidentally saved over it like an absolute dunce. And I know you already see the number two because I'm not covering it up. And the number 20. Coy Gibbs is going to take over the Robert Yates Racing number 28. Coy Gibbs is replacing Ricky Rudd. I was going to... I'll tell you in a second what I was going to do. James Finch is going to take over the 55 for Andy Petrie Racing. And Johnny Sauter. Yes, all three Sauters in the Cup Series. This is what I wanted. I wanted Johnny Sauter in the 24. Whether he's good or not, eh, I don't know. I've seen Dan Partis in the 24. Not so good. So I was trying to avoid that. But what I wanted to do was I just wanted to get it so that it was Finch in the 28. And that we were going to let the 55 go. And then Johnny Sauter, obviously, in the 24. But this popped up. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to roll with it. Because originally, I was going to try and keep hang on to Coy Gibbs until Bobby Labonte retired, if he ever does retire, I should say. But if Bobby Labonte retired, I was going to try and get Coy Gibbs into the 18. Uh, RIP Coy Gibbs. But this will work. He's in the 28 now. James Finch in the 55. Just because I like Phoenix racing. <laughs> That's the only reason why. He gets to race against Kurt Busch now. But Coy Gibbs in competitive equipment, Johnny Sauter in the best equipment you can have, and that is Silly Season wrapped. Um, Bobby Hamilton had a nothing, nothing to show for his last season, 34th in points. Uh, hopefully, Coy Gibbs, or not Coy Gibbs, James Finch can do better than that. But 
if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button subscribe 2015 coming next you're gonna watch me save i don't care 2015 coming up very soon uh 2000 sim coming as soon as this is done i might go record episode one right now who knows <coughs> probably not but thank you guys so much for watching once again um i'm actually just gonna go record 2015 now so have a good one i'll see you later